hello welcome here to my channel in this video i'm going to share with you how i make tofu turmeric fried rice this is a super nutrient packed recipe if you are watching my video for the first time or you are a returning friend it's nice to have you on board if you like my content and you have not subscribed or liked my channel it would be great to do so now so you can be quickly notified each time I have a new content or recipe from my kitchen. So if you are trying to give yourself a break from meat or you are a vegan, this is a great recipe for you. And so we know that um, tofu is made from uh, soya beans, which is highly packed with protein. And uh, we have uh, turmeric, which is also anti-inflammatory and so many other ingredients in this recipe. So if you're interested, stay with me to the end and let's do it together. The following are the ingredients that we need to make our tofu turmeric fried rice and firstly we have the basmati rice this is this kind of basmati rice that i use it's not the kind of the one that usually break after cooking so also i have uh, mixed vegetables which contain different um, beans sweet beans lima beans and they taste very good and i have fresh cilantro i have um, extra firm tofu uh, which I got from um, Trader Joe's, if you know that store. It's a, a very good uh, place to get some nice uh, organic ingredients. I have um, organic mushroom, or onion. I have the bell peppers. I have the red one and the green one. And I also have uh, organic um, olive oil. Olive oil is the best oil for me. Olive oil is the best oil for fried rice. That is what I use for my fried rice. And um, it gives your fried rice a very nice taste and not that uh, oily look. It doesn't give your fried rice too much oily look and you taste the uh, natural from it. And um, I have organic uh, coconut oil, which I use. I always use that for my rice, either white rice, whatever rice I'm making, I add coconut um, oil to my rice. It gives it a very good taste. I also have fresh sweet corn, which I always li also like to add to my fried rice because it gives it a like a like a, um, a fresh, uh, crunchy, sweet taste to that fried rice. Um, and that is a very good um, a taste. And also, we have the seasonings and the spices that we are going to add to our tofu fried rice. We have um, ginger, garlic, and we have uh, uh, rosemary. We have salt. We have um, maggi seasoning. I have um, turmeric powder. If you like heat in your fried rice, you can add a little heat to it. For sometimes I do add like a, a, a pepper flakes to my fried rice. Yeah, it depends on your choice. Yeah. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to wash my rice. The rice is washed and I have it in a rice steamer. I'm going to add some salt and I'll also add some turmeric powder. Turmeric powder, you cannot go wrong with turmeric powder because it's very anti-inflammatory and it depends on how yellowish you want your rice to look. So now I'm also going to add like two tablespoons of coconut oil, which gives my rice a very nice taste. And after which I'm going to uh, put it on the plug and set it up for um, for steaming. Stir it well and then start the cooking. Mm -hmm. 
this is my tofu i'm going to cut off the tofu and i'm going to dice it up and prepare it for frying i'm going to fry it until like golden brown not too dark uh, it depends on your choice you can as well fry it medium This is my mushroom. This mushroom, I'm not going to cut them like tiny slices. I'm going to cut them like three, three for the big ones and for the small ones, I'm going to cut it like two. I want it to be chunky so that after cooking, after it will have um, absorbed the juices from your ingredients and everything. And when you have it in your mouth, it will just burst and release that kind of, all those uh, sweet juices in your mouth. It's a great experience. going to cut up the onion and dice it up this is a sweet onion it tastes so great it gives your food that natural sweet taste Yes, I'm also going to dice up the bell peppers, the green one and the red one. These peppers are so great because they add sweet taste to your food as well. And the sweetness uh, is natural. So when you combine all this sweet taste in your food, you get a very great satisfaction. So I'm going to cut them up and dice it up as well. Here also we have the fresh cilantro, which I'm going to cut up as well. I, I'm, going to, I'm not going to take off the stem because the stem is full of flavor. I'm also going to cut up the uh, sweet corn, the fresh sweet corn. If you have not been using sweet corn, you know, in your fried rice, try it. The fresh sweet corn gives a very natural sweetness and uh, crunchiness into your fried rice. Now it's time to start cooking our fried rice and I have my pot on the stove which has heated up and I'm adding some uh, olive oil uh, which I'm going to immediately add onion to and stir it up and add some uh, salt and some black pepper, uh, add some rosemary and some garlic paste. I'm going to stir it up and I allow it to saute for some few minutes.
so now i'm going to add the mix of vegetables after which i'm going to continue to stir it stir it well until i see that the vegetables are uh, like a little cooked Now I'm going to season the vegetables with some salt and uh, Maggi seasoning. I'm going to continue to stir until I the uh, vegetable cook down a little more. Now it's time to add the bell peppers, the red bell pepper and the green bell pepper. And I'm also going to add the sweet corn and after that i'll continue to stir until the vegetables cook together i'm going to add the tofu to the vegetables now that the vegetables uh you know releasing some juices and some uh, sweet flavors so i want the um tofu to absorb all this juices so that the tofu will have a very nice taste and it becomes softer as well now i'm going to add the mushroom and i'm going to continue to stir together with the vegetables to cook down more Now I'm going to add some ginger and some garlic to the vegetables. I always love to do so like towards the end because it always gives it a very nice flavor. I love that flavor, that taste of garlic and ginger. So I'm going to add some. As we can see that all the ingredients have all come together, they have cooked down. Now it's time to add our fluffy yellow rice, our fluffy turmeric rice to all the vegetables and we are going to, you know, mix everything together. So, and this is giving a very nice aroma, it's very beautiful colors. We have varieties of colors and ridges inside this rice. This is so delicious. This is so good. I have a lot of vegetables in this pot, so I'm going to add the rest of the rice to it. If you look closely at this rice, you will see that it is not oily. It doesn't look oily. It doesn't look that shiny. Uh, it's because of the olive oil. Olive oil is the best for fried rice. Unlike when you use the regular vegetable oil, your fried rice will look so shiny and so oily. But olive oil will give it a very nice and sweet taste and flavor. Yes, friends, I'm just going to finish up with this fresh cilantro, which is going to give it a very nice taste, a nice flavor. Uh, cilantro is a very good seasoning, a very uh, good spice to add to your food. Friends, our tofu turmeric fried rice is ready and we are going to serve it and enjoy it. This tofu fried rice is so tasty, so yummy because the tofu bite and the mushroom and those vegetables, they just melt and burst in your mouth. 
so if you have watched this video to this end give it a like and if you have not subscribed do so and put on the notification bell to get notified each time i have a new content from my kitchen thanks for watching stay blessed and bye for now